some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in a courtroom where a uh, sovereign citizen just doesn't seem to understand where he's at and he doesn't seem to understand much of anything. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I'm back now. I got in there somehow. This is Can I hear you? Can you hear me? I can hear you, lawyer, but I, I just saw a judge and then it Hang on. Like Hang on. What is your yeah. name? My name is Michael Murdo. Okay, we're going to. It says Barnes, but that was the last uh, right. person. Okay, we're. We've got someone in the Oakland County Jail that is, the machine isn't going to close it for another 24 seconds. We'll handle his arraignment from the jail, then we'll get back to Mr. Murdoch. Okay. It, it just said it. My name on there now. It locked in. What is your name? My name is Murdoch. It just dropped in there at the bottom of my camera now. It was Burns on the bottom, but now it dropped down. Yeah, you. it's now, it's got the right name now. Right. Okay, we're going to put you... Uh, Actually, what I can do is just mute you, and that'll make it easier. I didn't mean where did Mr. Murdo go. Okay. We have Mr. Simpson back, I presume. We do, Your Honor. Mr. Simpson, can you hear me? Mr. Simpson. I go by I go by Matthew Aaron Simpson. The person that you're speaking on, I, I don't recognize. Oh, so you don't recognize your last name as being uh, Simpson. Okay, then. What other name do you go by? Because you just said that you are uh, Simpson. So if you're not Mr. Simpson, then who are you? I mean, it gets kind of confusing with this idiot. You go by Matthew Simpson, correct? I go by Matthew Aaron Simpson, but the name that you're speaking on behalf of, I don't, I don't recognize. Name that I'm speaking of on behalf of. Yes, I'm the I'm the executor of the Enligus. Oh, you are. Even the geese are laughing at this freaking moron. I'm the agent majority. I'm not a minor. I'm competent. Um, and I would like to declare that Matt, I, Matthew Aaron Simpson, would like to state on oath, on the record, that I am declaring a national um, non-citizen. Well, your status as a citizen is not really central to these events that bring us here. What brings us here is the fact that you owe money to the court for two different matters, one from 2022, the other from 2024, a total $480. I'm going to recall the warrant for your arrest. How did you come to be arrested? I don't recognize. Who brought you to the jail? I don't recognize. Your Honor, if I may, I that's all. I was I'm appointed uh, this morning for arraignment purposes only, and I know that Mr. Simpson does not wish me to represent him, and and obviously that's up to him. But I will let the court know that I did check the uh, inmate screen, and it looks like. But the 44th District Court is the only matter holding him currently. And he also has a warrant out of Gross Point Farms for a traffic arrest, but this is the only thing in Oakland County, it appears. Thank you. Well, Mr. Simpson, it really doesn't matter what you recognize or don't recognize because you're dealing with the power of the government, whether you recognize that government or not. Yeah, Judge, I mean, this Avatar doesn't seem to get that even if you don't recognize the uh, current established government within a territory, that doesn't mean just because you will it uh, 
will it so that it won't exist? I mean, you were, this is not a, a fantasy world we're living in. This is reality, Sovtard. I mean, would you walk into North Korea and uh, will the government out of existence with your mind uh, and say, I don't recognize your authority? Uh, no. Uh, in fact, North Korea would be uh, more likely to uh, throw you into a gulag and uh, sentence you to hard labor for the rest of your dang life, uh, if you're lucky. So the what we have to do here is figure out how to negotiate a path for you, whether you recognize the power or not. And the fact that you owe this money to the court appears to be the only thing keeping you in jail. It is not the intent of the court to have you be in jail for $480. I understand that uh, according to... Where do you stay now, sir? On Earth. Are you stupid or something? Where do you stay? On Earth. On Earth. you have a particular spot on Earth? No. Do you have any spot that you have mail sent where you can get mail that's addressed to you? Um... I don't recognize. Simpson, you're not making this easy on yourself. You're creating difficulty for yourself. I don't have a. Where do you get your mail? I don't have a place of residence. Where do you get your mail? I don't have. I don't. Who feeds you? Who feeds me? Yeah, who feeds you? When you're not in jail, how do you I, eat? Um, I put food in my mouth. Okay. Where do you get the food? Um, earth. Do you, do you have employment? I don't recognize... You don't recognize if you have employment or not. Uh, well, this is about to get even dumber, considering that he's not going to recognize the uh, amount he's going to have to pay to get out of jail. So he's going to have to stay in jail as a result of this idiotic mindset. I mean, come on now. Just pay the damn fine or figure out a way to make payments. I mean, good freaking grief. It's not that hard. Does anybody pay you for working for them? I don't recognize... Well, you recognize the fact that you're behind bars now, do you not? I don't recognize. Can you reset the show cause. And the bond is $480 cash. I don't recognize. You can recognize or not. It doesn't change the fact that you're not going to get out of jail until $480 has been paid on your behalf. Whether you recognize that authority or not, it, it's happening. It. I'm, a, I'm an executor of, of Matthew. You can be an executor or you can be an executor. It doesn't matter. There's $480 needs to be on the table before you're released. Okay. We're done. I would like to I would like to put that into my foreign trust. You can do whatever you like, sir. Have a good day. Oh, I don't recognize. I don't either. Wait a minute. Wait a minute before you guys go. Uh they're gonna be making fun of this uh guy in, in the next few minutes after they deal with this next case. So stick around and uh watch the fun. Thank you, Judge. Take care. Today's my Friday. Okay, yeah. yeah, we've got Mr. Murdoch that will ask to unmute. <laughs> Mr. Murdoch. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Murdoch is a citizen of the United States and proud sure of am. <laughs> Enjoy it. <laughs> and he'd like to clear up this matter and 
you know, <laughs> real quick. <laughs> real quick. He doesn't. He doesn't intend to rock any boats. No, we we, we ain't got time for that. One. <laughs> I'm a citizen. <laughs> this is twenty four zero one three six three people versus Michael Rick Murdoch. Yes. And uh, this is a eight times set for an arraignment, I guess. Yes, Mr. Murdoch, put your name on the record. Uh, just state your name for the record. Uh, Mr. Michael Murdoch. Uh, your Honor, uh, for the record, Eugene Lumberg representing Mr. Murdoch. Uh, Mr. Murdoch is here on a misdemeanor of no insurance. Uh, <clears throat> uh, he tells me he has he had valid insurance, but that's, a, uh, a, I guess, a question for the uh, uh, pretrial. Right. Uh, he wishes to... Uh, uh, Stan Mute would ask the court to enter a uh, not guilty plea for him. He understands that I'm here today for the purposes of arraignment and bond only. Uh, he wishes a uh, court appointed attorney going forward. Uh, he has no objection to proceeding via Zoom. And uh, he tells me that he understands the constitutional rights that I read to him. Uh, we're ready, Your Honor, uh, whenever the court is. Uh, I don't believe there's any bench warrant to set aside. He just got the ticket, I believe, on the 12th of July. He appears here voluntarily. He's a walk-in. He's a nice man. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Mr. Brenner, I know most of the zip codes in Royal Oak. I don't know Fairmont. What What is your zip code there? Oh, it's for, oh, let me look at my, let me make sure I'm right. Is, is, is it seven three or six seven? Seven three. Seven three. Thank you. Okay, I've got the form that you filed. Thank you. Oh, bond okay. in this matter will be a thousand dollars personal. You don't need to pay money to leave. It's a personal bond. Just appear at the pretrial. Okay. And uh, bring whatever documentation you have to the Zoom. The pretrial is going to be Zoom. Okay. And. Uh, if you have documents you want to put in the court file before the file, it wouldn't be a bad idea to bring a copy. Okay. Well, I, you know, you know, Judge, I had brought it now. I didn't know. I okay. It. I'm going to ask them if they would make a photocopy of that. I'll put it in the file for you. So when you go to the pretrial, it'll be observable. Okay. No okay. Problem. So if you go to the counter and ask them to make a copy for the court, and then we'll put it in the file. Okay. I, no I assume, Your Honor, uh, that the uh, court uh, has entered a, a plea of not guilty. Yes. You will appoint court appointed, uh, set bond, as I understand it just now, at a thousand personal. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, you've done my job for me. Thank you, Judge. <laughs> well, at this point, I didn't yeah. think you needed to gild the lily. Sorry. I <laughs> That's true. And I am a citizen of the United States. <laughs> well, I've always wondered how people can be citizens of the earth because we're all here as well, residents, well, but not citizens. No, I always I always wondered how people can, can claim uh, not to be a citizen of the United States but want all of the rights that citizens okay. have. Well, these soft hearts just want it the easy way. They want all the rights, but none of the responsibilities of being a citizen. And being a citizen, you there are responsibilities such as following the laws. Because they don't believe in laws to begin with. They believe in only in their own laws, actually. And as such, you can argue jurisdiction with these soft hearts until the cows come home, and they won't buy a word of what you have to say. In fact, they'll probably most likely sit in jail for years on end saying that you're wrong. Just like the uh, aforementioned soft hard who's now sitting in jail because uh, he doesn't want to pay his fines. <laughs> this place could be better, I'm sure that there's much room for improvement. But if there's yeah. a better place on Earth, I don't know where it is. I don't either. I agree. The United States is not exactly perfect. It's not exactly uh, a paradise. But uh, 
It's certainly a lot better than uh, some of the other authoritarian regimes out there, such as, oh, I don't know, the aforementioned North Korea, who, well, will make you bow before the statues of the uh, Kim dynasty before you uh, even walk around in the country. And this guy's trying to get out of uh, paying a $400 fine because of issues that he calls to begin with. I mean, good freaking grief. If you can't pay the $400 up front, arrange a payment plan. They can do that. But, of course, he didn't look into that, I'm sure. He just uh, saw the $400 and was like, nope, not going to pay it. I mean, you'll live. You can live without that $400. I mean, you'll make more money if you actually have a job. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?